we're going to do a quick whip through of some exponential equations. And these are really nice and easy to see. Look, if we have 5 to the x is equal to 5 to the 3, what value of x is going to make it true? Well, we're asking ourselves what value of x will make it that 5 to the power of x is the same as 5 to the power of 3? Hopefully, it's immediately obvious to you that the only way that this will be true is if this x is exactly equal to 3. So the solution to that equation is x is equal to 3. If we have a look at the next one, we're asking how can 3 to the 2x be the same as 3 to the power of 5? Well, again, hopefully it's immediately obvious to you that the only way you can get the same thing if you say 3 to the power of 2x as you get when you say 3 to the power of 5 is if that 2x is equal to 5. And if 2x is equal to 5, then x must be equal to 5 over 2. So this is the solution for that equation. Um, and then sometimes they might not make it quite as easy for us, right? Here you've got 2 to the power of 3x is equal to 32. And you can't go anywhere with that. Until you turn this, you need to have, for to solve the exponential equations that we deal with at this stage, you need to have whatever the base is on this side, you need to have exactly the same base on that side. So we need to write down 32 as a with a base of 2. Well, that's quite easy. Sorry, let's just get this right. Uh, we know that we've got 2 to the 3x and we've got 32. And you should know that that is 2 to the power of 5. Again, if you struggle, you don't know immediately that 32 is 2 to the power of 5. You can use your prime factorization to get it down there. Okay, so now it's easy to compare because you've got 2 to the 3x is equal to 2 to the 5. How are you going to get those things to be equal? The only way is if 3x is equal to 5. So if x is equal to 5 over 3. Right, so the core thing, in with, thing with exponential equations that we're going to deal with is you need to have the same base on each side of the equation. And once you've got that, you can just compare the exponents. All right, so I want you to try one now. 3 to the x is equal to 1 over 9. What value of x will make that equation true? Pause the video and try this in your key concepts book. All right, so you needed to have it in exactly the same base. Now, you know that 9 is 3 squared. But now this isn't exactly 3 to the power of something equals 3 to the power of something, right? So we still got a little bit more work to do. Three, 1 over 3 squared is the same as 3 to the minus 2. Now we've got same base on either side, so we can just compare the exponents, and we get x is minus 2.